Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's unboxing is a Light Reads box from a box of stories. So you may have noticed I did speak recently about a box of stories when I made my favourite book subscription video. But I have now got a box of their Light Reads. So I'm going to show it to you, I'm going to unbox it and I'm going to tell you a little bit about every book I receive. So if you're new to a box of stories, it is basically a box of stories. You can get these boxes from $14.99 or even less if you use the discount code under the video. You can get it for less than £10 delivered in the UK. And essentially it is four brand new books and they are all rated four or five stars. And this is a way to kind of stop all the books that end up in landfill when they don't sell, um, if they've mass produced too many of them, things like that. They go in the box, you get four fantastic reads, way, way cheaper than you would pay if you went and bought the books. And the great thing is it really helps you to discover new books that you might not have picked up yourself. And while we're at home at the minute, we're in another lockdown, what better time to read a book of light reads? Now, if light reads aren't your thing and you're into things like historical fiction or young adults or you just want different types of fiction or you want crime or whatever you're into, there's so many different options with this site. So definitely check it out if you're on the hunt for some new books to read. It would, of course, also make the most fantastic Christmas gift so this particular box, Light Reads, usually retails at $21.99, but if you use my code and sign up to a subscription, you can get it for less than £15. So it's a real steal at the minute. So it says inside the box, 77 million books are destroyed in the UK every year. And for me, somebody who doesn't even like turning down the pages in case it damages the books, that traumatizes me a little bit. 83% of the books are pulped before they've even been read. We want to save these amazing books from being lost in time forever. Every box you get saves four amazing books and you discover four incredible authors. So thank you for helping us on our mission. And there's a nice little illustration there in the lid. There's also a little card here that says a box of stories and it says congratulations you've uncovered four hidden gems and saved four amazing books from being lost forever. Happy reading. And of course I will link this down below. I will give you all the information about that discount code if you do want to treat yourself or someone else to a box. Okay so the first in my light reads box is something called The Psychology of Time Travel. 1967 to 2017 and this is by somebody called Kate Mascarenas and there it says 1937 to 2027 so it sounds like we're going into the future as well as the past so it says I love the illustrations on this book it's very very pretty uh, it says here 1967, four female scientists invent a time travel machine. Ooh, cool. They are on the cusp of fame, but then one of them suffers a breakdown and puts the whole project in peril. 2017, Ruby knows her Granny B was one of the four, but they never talk about her past until they receive a message from the near future reporting the mysterious death of an elderly lady. 2018, when Odette found the body, she went into shock. But after the inquest fails to find any answers, she is frustrated. Who is this dead woman that haunts her dreams? And why is everyone trying to cover up her murder? Ooh, so this sounds interesting. And it looks like we switch between characters and time periods, which is my kind of read. I like that where they've got like multiple sides to the story and multiple time periods definitely my sort of thing um, and this would retail at 12.99 next up we've got a book called don't tell me you're afraid the international bestseller by giuseppe catozella and it says it's impossible not to be moved packs an achingly topical punch and it says based on a remarkable true story don't tell me you're afraid is a moving inspiring novel of a life lived in hope Samia Omar grows up in war-torn Somalia, dreaming of being a world-class sprinter. She sleeps with a photo of Mo Farah by her bed and trains hard. After achieving a place on the national team to comp compete in the Beijing Olympics, she sets her sights on the 2012 Games in London. But with the war encroaching on the lives of her family, 
Samia decides to join her sister and make the treacherous journey to Europe, putting her life and her dreams in the hands of traffickers. So that is very tropical and this would retail at $7.99. So that's something a little bit different, um, but something very real, especially based on a true story. So that sounds rather interesting. Then I've got a book called Love After Love by Alex Horston. Immerses the reader in the moral, emotional and practical dilemmas of infidelity, a well-crafted cautionary tale had me utterly gripped from the first paragraph. And it says a beautifully written page turner of a book. Nancy Jansen is the beating heart of her family. She is the centre around whom many lives turn. Mother, therapist, daughter, sister, wife. But Nancy has a new role. Lover. Everybody can be happy. Nancy believes. So long as they can be kept separate. But when these lives start to overlap, collision is inevitable. With consequences for all. And this retails at $8.99. And that sounds like another interesting read. And then we've got something that definitely looks like a really light read and a nice escapism. And it does actually say a new beginning, a perfect escape. A Year in the Chateau by Sarah Long. When Nicola's husband Dominic retires, they decide not to spend their days finding hobbies to fill the time until countdown is on. Instead, they fulfil their lifelong fantasy of buying a country house and filling it with their dearest friends, reliving their youth and spending their children's inheritance. Joined by seven of their friends, they club together to invest in a chateau in Normandy, northern France. Group dinners, fine wine, beautiful scenery, they're living the dream. But La Vie Van Rose is harder than it first appears. Is there a reason why only teenagers take gap years? And this one uh, retails at $8.99. So there's quite the collection there. They're not all, well, they're not really similar at all, are they? There's um, it kind of, this little light reese collection should kind of take me all over the place. We've got time travel. We've got the, based on a true story, um, traveling between countries and everything that goes with that. We've got the infidelity and this woman and who she is to everyone and everything that's going on. And then we've got this lot of oldies at the chateau. So it sounds like it's an interesting little bundle I've got here. Let me know in the comments what you think of my little light reads box. Is this a box that appeals? Do these books appeal to you? Would you like to read them? Definitely check out the link and all the information below if you want to get that saving and get yourself a nice new box of books to read. So this should keep me busy for a while. I love a good read and I just love escaping from this scary world at the minute and going on some adventures and what better way to do that than with books. But it would, like I said, make the most amazing Christmas gift for anyone who loves reading or perhaps can't get out at the minute, especially if it's children or anything like that. I'm sure they would really appreciate a lovely box of books to entertain them. So yeah, it would just make the perfect gift. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this unboxing. I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing. And I'd love it if you'd hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.